Digital security is essential. Today, we're going to have a look at some software that can help you stay safe online. We're going to have a look at Proton Pass and we're going to have a look at One Password and see which one you should be using. So let's check them out. Okay, so let's jump straight into Proton Pass. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is their security focus. So Proton Pass emphasizes end to end encryption and zero knowledge architecture, which ensures that your data is protected from any unauthorized access. Also, the intuitive design makes it really easy for anyone to manage their passwords without needing extensive technical knowledge. It also has seamless integrations with various third party apps and services, really enhancing its versatility. So if you are using something and you'd like to integrate it with ProtonPass, then there's a good chance it'll be available. Also, it is available on multiple devices, including your desktop, your mobile phone, and even a web browser. It provides immediate notifications for any suspicious activities or any security breaches. They also offer fantastic customer support to help anyone troubleshoot and resolve issues efficiently. One of the other things that we need to talk about is Proton Pass's drawbacks. Now, um, while Proton is secure, it may lack some advanced security features found in some of the competitive software. Also, as a new player in the game, it might not have some of the same levels of brand recognition as some of the more established brands. All right, so let's jump into One Password now. So first of all, One Password offers a family plan that allows you to manage and share passwords with family members securely. This is ideal for any household or team that's needing coordinated access. With travel mode, you can actually protect sensitive data while traveling by temporarily removing vaults from your devices. This feature is perfect for anyone who uses travel frequently. One password also includes a password analyzer that helps you identify weak or reused passwords. The proactive approach ensures that your accounts will always remain secure. The Watchtower features um, alerts that you can use for data breaches and weak passwords. This will keep you informed and a few steps ahead of any potential threats. One password also supports two-factor authentication for an additional layer of security, ensuring only you can access your account. It's available on multiple platforms. You can be ensured that you'll have access to your passwords wherever you go, uh, whether you're on your desktop, mobile device, a browser extension, your data is always within reach. One or two of the drawbacks here is that um, the subscription service can be a little bit more expensive than some of the other options. And this might be a slight bit of a barrier for any budget conscious person. Also, like many password managers, one password free version lacks some of those advanced features found in the paid version, which could limit the functionality for the non paying user. So that is kind of like a balance that you've got to check and see if it works for you. Now, after this head to head comparison, you likely have some more questions. You can leave it down in the comment section below. But the key takeaway should be to go and use both of these platforms and see which one works for you in a real life scenario. If this was enjoyable, go ahead and drop us a like, share it with a friend, and we'll see you next time.